Greetings of the day. Now in this lecture we are going to cover greet chamber. The next unit process is in the wastewater treatment. Where the location of greet chamber will be there in the domestic wastewater treatment plant. As we have discussed that first unit it will be a storage tank. After that it will be taken for screen chamber. Now the screening material which will be retained it will be removed and disposed and whatever material and wastewater has been passed through bar screen they will come to the grid chamber. Grid chamber is nothing but it is basically a settling tank. So grid removal basins are sedimentation basins which are placed in front of the screen to remove the inorganic particles having specific gravity of 2.65 means which is more than water and up to 2.65 such as sand, gravel, grit, eggshell, glass piece, metal fragment etc. And also non putrescible material that may clog the channel or damage the pump due to abrasion and to prevent their accumulation in the slush digester. So this is why we are providing grid chamber. In this particular sedimentation tank, wastewater is getting time so that the particles having specific gravity more can be settled down and so that the load on the next unit will be reduced. Now what are the settling characteristics means which, what will be the characteristics of particle. So the main characteristics of settling of particles is divided into total four category. Type 1 settling is considered as discrete settling in dilute suspension grid chamber is a good example. That means in this particular category we are counting those kind of particles which will not settle down easily which will be normally on the upper side of the grid chamber. Type 2 it is the flocculent material in dilute suspension and primary settling basin is a good example for that. So flocculent settling means some of the particle may have a tendency that in individual they may not get settled down. But when they are coming to each other together they may have some tendency to travel towards downward and uh, going forward they may get settled down. Type 3 it is zone or hindered settling where higher concentration higher of greater than 1000 milligram per liter where particle interfere with each other settling and secondary settling basin is the best example for that and type 4 it is called as compression settling weight of particle causes more settling sludge zone in clarifier in short how we can remember as you travel towards type 1 to type 4 the settling capacity is increased type 4 it is at the bottom where you can say it is almost a sludge blanket it is the highest settling capacity and type 1 it is almost a suspension right so it can be divided into total four zone now there are two kind of grid chambers available mainly there are uh, mechanically clean grid chambers and manually clean grid chambers in mechanically cleaned grid chamber the scraper blade collect the grid settled on the floor of the grid chamber the, I will give very simple example that when you are boiling a milk you are having a upper layer which can be easily removed with the help of a spoon right. So same way when this kind of uh, layer of sludge will be there with the use of scraper it can be easily removed. This is possible if it is a mechanically cleaned grit chamber and the grit so collected is elevated to the ground level by several mechanism such as bucket elevator, jet pump and airlift because grid chamber will be normally uh, located in such a way that bottom of grid chamber will be below the ground level. So the grid or the layer of uh, this sludge which will be collected it will be at the bottom part. So it is removed and then it will be elevated and if it is a manually clean grid chamber then it is a little bit challenging only for lesser area you can go otherwise you cannot go and when you are keeping manual cleaning you need to make sure that at least one grid chamber as a standby should be kept. Normally also we consider that when we are dealing at public scale in domestic wastewater treatment plant all the unit we will place minimum of two quantity so that if cleaning is required maintenance is required or in any case failure take place then the standby unit can be immediately operated. There are two kind of grid chambers which are mainly in use horizontal flow grid chamber and aerated grid chamber. Here you can see one of the 
plan and section for grid chamber is shown where you can see that swinging gate is uh, capped so that the inflow of wastewater in the grid chamber can be controlled and you can see in cross section that the slope is given space for accumulation of sludge is given and we are providing some amount of the free board also now again for this particular unit we need to remember some design criteria and as we have discussed in earlier lectures also that design criteria will be always in a range so length is 10 to 18 meter and depth of the liquid 1 to 1.3 meter and velocity is controlled by means of velocity control device. Here you can see more clear cross section with all the instrumentation and required level of water. So you can see that uh, in between the pipe which is given that will be uh, going to be the main operating uh, center and you can see that the maximum water surface which is allowed it is always below a freeboard. Now when you have to design a grid chamber the most important part is the settling velocity because settling is our main criteria main parameter over here. So how we will decide that what kind of settling velocity we can keep. So there are two equations by which you can uh, decide the settling characteristic Vs is equal to G into rho p minus rho w into dp square upon 18 mu. This is one equation. Another equation is Vs is equal to G into Gs minus 1 into dp square upon 18 V. So whether you are having a value of density of particle and water and uh, mu that is dynamic viscosity or you may be having a specific gravity then size of particle and kinematic viscosity by any of these two equation you can determine settling velocity here let's have a look on the parameter vs is settling velocity dp which is used in second equation it is size of particle gs is specific gravity rho p is density of particle rho w is density of water mu is equal to dynamic viscosity v is equal to mu upon rho w it is equal to kinematic viscosity and g is equal to gravitational acceleration now what will be surface overflow rate again this is one of the important parameters so it is q upon as what we have to understand in one meter square area if we are allowing one meter cube of uh, wastewater to go through how much waste water will come out as a overflow so where q is flow rate and as is surface area number of unit for manually clean grid chamber at least two units shall be provided for mechanically cleaned unit one additional as a standby should be provided also let us see dimension free board of 150 to 300 mm shall be provided Length can be calculated as L is equal to VH into T and depth can be calculated as D is equal to VS into T where bottom slope shall be provided. Also the breadth will depend upon the velocity control device which is adopted. So using this equation you can always determine L and D and your answer should fall in a category of our design criteria which we have discussed. Again next important parameter it is head loss. So head loss should be 0 0.06 to 0.6 meter which depends upon velocity control device adopted and whatever grit is collected at the bottom of the grit chamber how you are going to dispose it of. So moisture of the grit that varies from 14 to 34 percentage. Grit is sometimes washed after collection to reduce the organic concentration which may be as much as 50 percentage of the total solid also filling in low lying area can take place incineration that means burning at a very high temperature in a closed tank also washed grit can sometimes be used as a cover material for the screening material screening material means whatever has been retained in screening if you are disposing it off as a dumping site to cover that site this grit can be utilized so this is all about the grid chamber and for further you need we will see more detail in the next lecture. Thank you.